Welcome back again. We will continue with our discussion of this phenomenon of hormesis, where, where mild stress, mild stress of choice mainly, things like physical exercise, and done again and again, gives benefits to the body because body has internal powers of meeting these kind of stress. And when it meets that challenge, it tries to repair the damage, whatever the stress is doing, and then you get benefits. So this is the phenomenon of hormesis, which at the moment in scientific research is one of the hottest areas. And my own research is also fully uh, committed to this topic. The conditions which cause hormesis I introduced, they are called hormetin. You know, like physical exercise is a hormetin. So we then divide these categories into three or four. There are physical hormetins, like exercise, motion, hmm, the physical. Low levels of also mild temperature, heat. Yeah, both on the upper side and cold side. They are shown to have hormetic effects, beneficial effects. If I give a little bit of fever, 41 degrees Celsius, to my cells in the laboratory condition, one hour only, two times a week, they live longer and they do not show many signs of aging. Yeah. So there are, this is the kind of data done in the research labs. And also with the fruit flies, we have done this work. Other people are trying other kinds of physical hormetins, like even gravity, even radiation. Although that is not a very popular thing to talk about, but radiation at low level has lots of beneficial effects, both in cancer maintenance research. People living in uh, so-called high radon background, depending upon what are the levels, they sometimes do get benefits. A lot of the spa therapies, you know, where people go for in Italy, Greece or wherever in Japan, a lot of these things have beneficial effects both due to high heat and little radiation combined as physical hormetins. Then there is the second part of the hormetins, which we call the mental hormetins. Mental hormetins come from exercise of the brain. And it actually works like exercise. Yeah, there is a physical exercise or the exercise of the brain. When brain is made to concentrate on certain problem solving, on certain, uh, say, chess playing, Sudoku, it actually creates stress markers. People have measured that, that during meditation, that's the most paradoxical effect. During meditation, the body is producing the same kind of molecules which you produce during running in the gym. But after that, the effects are very interestingly beneficial. Yeah, so meditation becomes also hormetic. It's a mental hormetin. And scientists like myself, we are developing various cognitive kind of interventions. What kind of brain exercises can be developed where you create hormetic molecules, yeah, where it becomes hormetin. And that's a huge area. There is, relatively speaking, there is less amount of research there. So often I can get tempted to make big claims about that, but science has to give answers and those answers will come. So physical hormetins, where we talk about temperature, radiation, physical exercise, sauna and all those combinations, mental hormetins. Then the third part of the hormetins, which is very, very interesting, is nutritional hormetins through food. First of all, we go to, when we don't eat food, for example, fasting, that has lots of beneficial effects in the body. And that is mainly due to hormetic processes. Because when I am fasting, then one of my stress response pathways, which we call autophagy, that gets stimulated. And that cleans up the system. Cleaning in the sense that cell needs to make new things. So it uses the old broken things all the bad things which are sitting around in the cell. So during fasting, a lot of these things happen. And that's why fasting is a hormetin. Then comes what kind of foods. In food, a lot of things which we eat are hormetic actually. They are good because they are bad. Sounds again a little paradoxical. Because they don't have any nutritional value. What is the nutritional value of garlic? 
onion, ginger, spices, all kind of crudery are spices. Nutrition in the sense, protein, carbohydrate, fats. Yeah? Most of these things either provide vitamins, a lot of vitamins are actually hormetins. They also work by challenging the system. But spices and all other kind of stuff, they are hormetic because they cause a little bit of challenge in the body. They are very toxic. If you take at high doses, plants produce a lot of these compounds so that animals cannot eat them. Plants don't produce things so that we can eat them. Plants don't like to be eaten. Yeah. Plants produce hundreds of chemicals which are actually toxic. But we have found also the way in quantities or by way of cooking or other, how we can use that thing for the benefit of the body. But the starting point is that these spices are actually causing damage. My own laboratory has worked a lot on, for example, this uh, compound from uh, turmeric. Uh, everybody talks about curcumin. Curcumin has lots of anti-cancer effects, they claim. It kills cancer cells at high level. But at low level, it actually promotes the growth of healthy cells. Yeah? In Indian cooking, we use it all the time. Same thing about black pepper and uh, rosemary and saliva and almost all spices are hormetins. And that's the very, very important aspect of that. The only trouble so far with science is that we are testing one compound at a time. <clears throat> You know, we take curcumin, we test it on the cells or animals. But nobody eats curcumin alone. We eat turmeric or in Danish gurkemaya. And that also not raw. We eat it as part of the food. Where there are other spices. There is pepper. There are maybe other kind of uh, rosemary or other thing. So that kind of research is just happening to happen. It's beginning to happen. We will get the answer soon. But so far... It is absolutely clear that spices, pepper, chili, garlic, ginger, all these have hormetic effect. They are going to be beneficial for the body in health promotion by increasing body's own defense mechanism. They are not drugs. They are not working against any infection or any special problem. They are not drugs. Remember that. These are hormetins. Hormetins are the ones which gives you your own ability to counteract it. Important message here is stress is good if it is of your choice. Stress of choice. Learn to choose your stress. Don't run away from stress. Don't get stressed from stress. Stress is the principle of life. Now I am giving these talks. Of course it's stressful for me to compile my ideas and present it. But this is stress of choice which gives me pleasure also. So how do we use these aspects of stressful life and food especially in the next lecture? But here we come with the final conclusion that basically there are three things we are going to do for our health. One is through food, other is through uh, physical ac activity and third is through social and mental engagement. So we will talk about that the next time. See you then.